Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we're going to be discussing eye machining, the revolution in CAM with Ben. Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner, Ben. Thank you. Eye machining, the revolution in CAM. What is eye machining? So eye machining is our um, high speed roughing strategy. Uh, so it's fast metal removal, uh, getting rid of the, the majority of the stock uh, as fast as we can. So it's a roughing strategy. Now, I would assume and please talk us through it, that a lot of the time savings come through roughing and this is the importance and, and, and the main USP of our machine. Yeah, a lot of people can concentrate on the finishing strategies and things, but the roughing is the majority of the, or the bulk of the material that's going to need to be removed, so being able to get that away fast is where you're going to get all your time savings uh, in, the, uh, in the job. So talk us through it in more detail and technical, from a technical perspective. So eye machining is uh, sort of a two-stage process. The first stage of it is a, a morphing tool path. So you've got a, obviously a stock shape on the outside uh, going down to our shape as you can see on here. Yeah? So we morph from the outside shape to the inner, uh, maintaining a constant chip thickness. So not a constant step over, a constant chip thickness. Uh, so we're constantly varying the, the uh, speed uh, or the feed rate, should I say, uh, determined by the contact angles as it's cut in. And is this done automatically? Automatically, yeah, you tell it to so sort 3D eye machining, as you can see here. We are um, telling it to cut the entire target wherever there is stock. It is doing all the deep cuts first, you can see full depth of cut using the full flute length, and then it will come up uh, where there's stock left and create a skull up on the component. So this is morph machine. Morphing, yes, it's a morphing toolpath. The second stage of our machining then is the technology wizard. So the wizard then takes in data from the uh, machine tool, so we know the power of the spindle. It takes in all the, the data from the tool, takes the data from the material, and then it will pro uh, produce its own depths of cut, speeds, feeds, and uh, all the step overs and contact angles. This CAM strategy, is it unique to SolidCAM? It is, yes. Yeah. So it was developed uh, by SolidCAM themselves. Um, released back in 2010, uh, so it's been with us for a while. Still, um, our sort of uh, big focus, our big um, USP inside SolidCam is the uh, you know, high-speed eye machining. So effectively, Ben, this, this takes care of, of, of everything pretty much automatically once you give the, the machine tool the, the, the component details. But what happens if you've not held the component securely or your tooling is sticking out quite a long way and you might experience some vibration issues. What yeah, about? so the, the software can account for that. We've got a, a machining level, so it's the material removal rate. So although our machining will calculate all these speeds, speed, depths of cut for you, uh, you've then got a slider bar from one to eight uh, where you can slide down, uh, up and down that scale, which will bring everything. So you, you're keeping the using still the technology of eye machining, but just slowing everything down a little bit, still uh, getting all the benefits of uh, sort of tool life, uh, less pressure on the tool, on the, on the spindle, uh, and things like that, still getting that high uh, material removal rate, uh, just at a, a sort of reduced rate uh, instead. So if you're held on a casting or held in quite flimsily, for instance, or like you say, long tool sticking out, the, the, uh, the program has got the option to dial that down a little bit. Okay, so let's start discussing some of the, the time-saving benefits using eye machining, starting um, with cycle time reductions. On average, what would you expect um, a, a, a typical cycle time reduction to be using eye machining? So on average, we're boasting up to 70% cycle time savings. <coughs> the, the harder the material, believe it or not, the better it is for eye machining. So you can get up to sort of 90% cycle savings cutting into titaniums and harder steels, um, but 70% uh, is roughly the sort of average marker that, that you'll be gaining. Well, that's massive. Yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely it's game changing effectively. Big cycle time. Now, yeah. you mentioned cutting tools, we've mentioned cutting tools if they're sticking out a long way to get accessibility or whatever the case may be. How are how, how is the cutting tool life longevity increased using our machine? Well, it's and, increased. And what, are, what are the benefits of that financially? Yeah, so the, the tool life's increased from the point of view that uh, the cut is a lot uh, a lot nicer, a lot kinder on the on the uh, 
on the tool, but we're also using the full flute length as well. So if you paid for all that carbide, instead of using just a section of it and then creating a notch in the tool where now you can't use the tool again, you've got all of that flute length that you can use, so why not use it all? You can see here, full depth of cut, full flute length uh, cutting on So there. is that part of the strategy then, to use the full length of the, the cutter? It will, yeah, it will go as deep as it can with the flute length. Obviously this, this has got a bit more flute length to go, but the depth of the part obviously is not as the same length as the flute length, but the idea behind our machine is getting as deep as we can um, with, with that tool. So the engineering uh, or the engineer plays a big part in this by you know choosing the, the correct tools for the for, for the application. So this is effectively a tool to enhance um, the productivity for, for free access machining. Yeah, ex exactly. It's not there to replace the engineer. It's there to uh, to give them assistance and a tool to use to increase their productivity and to increase the. Uh, obviously the efficiency of the tool path but also tool life uh, on there so it decreased the cost of purchasing new tools. Um, it's better for the machine tool, it's less pressure on the spindle bearings and things like that as well. So it also gives your machine tool better long longevity? Yeah definitely. Yeah. Now Ben this sounds absolutely fantastic but for people that may be watching this technical corner and think that it's too good to be true can you prove to them that it isn't? We can, yeah, and we often do so. If, if anybody wants to send us a part or they want us to come in uh, to their facility, we'll happily program a part using our machining. We'll cut it, we'll, we'll run it on a machine. Um, you know, we'll, we'll take the challenge and we'll, uh, we'll prove to you that we can save you uh, cycle time, but obviously we'll save uh, tool life as well. Ben, an absolute pleasure. So there you have it, over 70% cycle time savings with the revolutionary iMachining from SolidCamp.